Hi everyone, my name is Constance Dunn. I'm the author of Practical Glamour, presenting your most beautiful and polished self to the world. We're here at the West Hollywood Book Fair, a lovely, lovely affair that I encourage you all to visit at some point in the future. And I'd like to read you a little about Practical Glamour. The idea of glamour is a funny one. A lot of us think about, you know, sparkly glitter and high heels, but it's really about bringing who you are inside to the outside and giving people the tools to present who they are, that individual you, and bringing it to the world. And that's my passion, so here goes. This book is about exploitation, yours. It's about gathering and applying the means to make full use of your physical and expressive traits, your hair, skin, nails, figure, and more. Perhaps for you, the issue is that these traits have been operating at idle or low speed, have been hidden away, or were never properly developed in the first place. Has that gorgeous hair of yours perched atop a world-class brain been hiding behind a bland, not-say-nothing style? Is a shapely figure huddled under a uniform of khaki pants and Oxford shirts? Perhaps your apartment is home to a bulging, unkept closet or scattershot of fads and eras that somehow never equal up to even a single great outfit. When it comes to outfitting yourself, have you only a hazy idea of what colors, styles, and silhouettes suit you? Perhaps it's an uncertain set of social skills that keeps you mute at social functions, depriving others of getting to know the warm and vivacious glitter ball that is you. Or you have the notion that all you need is more funds to keep your skin up to top condition and your hands and feet perfectly manicured. If all of this glorious equipment that you've been given is not being utilized to its full potential, it's a shame. This book is about ratcheting up each of these natural elements. It's about optimizing, no, about exploiting the hell out of what you have for a lifetime of glamorous and maximum use. I was hesitant to use the word glamour because I didn't want to give the impression of the kind of glamour associated with triple layers of, of fake eyelashes, bikini wearing, platform, shoe tottering, lisping, all sex, no substance, here to please, bulging buttoned love goddess type of glamour. Here glamour is used in the classic sense to mean the natural allure that comes from the full and positive use of your, po of your expressive traits and on an everyday basis. It's the cultivation of a personal presentation that's distinctly yours, which includes looks alongside manner, attitude, and spirit. And the cultivation of your presentation is practical business. It's an ongoing dedication to understanding, evolving, and caring for these elements, whether it's your skin, your face, your hair, your figure and nails, or the less tangible traits like your personal style, your manner. This practice involves the application of specific skills and self-knowledge to the betterment of you, which is what I call practical glamour. A little bit on the democracy of glamour. One of the best things about this process is it's highly democratic. It's not off limits to anyone. Despite what a stack of beauty and fashion magazines have to say on the subject, glamour is not acquired via the purchase of a big heap of this season's stuff. As long as you are interested in the subject matter, which is you looking fabulous, and willing to invest a bit of time in self-analysis, in learning new, quite fun skills, you can look as lo lovely and polished as you please. Practical glamour is not a game where the mo whoever has the most money wins. Lastly, your presentation is a package deal. Wearing the most exquisite ensemble on earth will fail to give you glamour if it's the wrong fit or color for you. The most gussied up beauty will never be considered quite so if she snarls at everyone in her path. Likewise, an awesome haircut or beautiful smile by itself can't overcome other unattended issues of complexion, figure, movement, or manner. Think of your presentation as a whole, with component parts you must tend to. First, it's your overall look, which is largely a function of grooming and properly positioning, polishing, and maintaining your physical traits. The other, less tangible element of presentation is your manner, how you interact with others you meet in the world. In other words, you're a package deal. Piecemeal efforts by themselves will never be as effective as whipping up all of your lovely component parts into top conditioning and presenting them in a smooth concert, a glamorous souffle, if you will. Thank you very much, and be glamorous. Constance Dunn.